I've got some clamps in front of me that I've, I've modified to do specific things in my work over the years. And I like vice grip. I, I buy good vice grip tools to start with. So this has a little bit of silicon bronze welded on the top jaw and the bottom jaw. So when I've got to grab something that I don't want to mar, then I'll use this clamp if I can. It's kind of a non-marring uh, vice grip. And I merely just TIG welded some silicon bronze rod into there and shaped it a little bit. So when I've got to grab something that is copper or uh, aluminum that I don't want to mark up, then I'll use these soft jaw uh, vice grips. This is another specific vice grip tool. I think it's the extended nose. But what I've done is I've TIG welded two blocks, steel blocks, and I, I have a little groove in them. And so that'll hold a, a cylinder. If I've got to oh, grind a uh, small cylinder to make a point on it or something like that, it does a really good job of holding a cylinder. So sometimes I've got to hold a larger cylinder more securely and it, maybe there's more pressure or whatever. So I have another vice grip and I've just taken some half inch angle iron and I've welded it to the ends. It's only about a half an inch long. The shorter that is, the more material you can grab. The longer that is, the more it becomes specific to a certain size of material. But this will hold a larger size cylinder very securely when I've got to grind or hold or do whatever. But this is another just small set of ice grips that I have welded two plates onto. And this is kind of a specific size tool in that I had a job where I had to hold some pieces of one inch square to one inch square. And so I've designed this in such a way that I can do that. Put them together and then I can put a weld there and a weld there. So these are both vice grip. I think this is 9R. I think it's an 11R. I use this all the time. It's a really lightweight clamp. It's got a pretty good reach to it, but sometimes it's not strong enough for what I want. So I took a regular vice grip and I cut two pieces of stainless steel flat bar here and here. And then I uh, cut the vice grip, extended it, and then I welded it here, 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 and here, so that I have some really strong extended uh, vice grip tools. So for example, I may have a part that is on a table and I can't get to it with a regular vice grip, but I wanna put a significant amount of pressure on that. So that's why I have the extended vice grip where I can easily get in, tighten it up, and I've got a fair amount of clamping pressure on that. So I have this extended vice grip, but sometimes that might not be enough. So then my solution is to use a piece of tubing. I've got two ends on it, depending on what I'm gonna clamp. And I can set it out in the middle of the table and clamp down here. And I have sufficient clamping force to hold the part in place while I weld it up. So this is another standard vice grip. And I took some pieces of half inch angle weld them to the vice grip so that where I've got to weld a cylinder to a cylinder, I can quickly clamp the two, put a tack here, rotate it over, put a tack here, and then uh, they're held together sufficiently where I can break the clamp off and then continue the welding process. So one of the other advantages to a clamp like this over a clamp like that is this has essentially point pressure where this has more almost plain pressure. So when you clamp something down, you've got a little bit more material here and it holds it more securely than if you were to clamp it down with a, a clamp that was not modified. 